Hello everyone, uh, this is what we're going to do. So let me preview it first on my web browser. Okay, so type writer background, kind of old vintage style. And then now I type we become what we think about. Okay, so it's a kind of a combination, the mixture of old and new. Uh, the background is old style, but um, it's a kind of a digital typing. So I, let me call this the um, uh, digital log, digital plus analog. So let me get started. Uh, document size will be um, 600 by 600 and 24 frame and HTML5 and create it. Okay. And then uh, please download the image I provided uh, under my uh, description so you can uh, download that image. So go to file. Let me import that image the, uh, to the stage directly which is typewriter, open. Okay, so we have a background. I'm going to rename it as a typewriter. Okay, now new layer on top. This will be text layer. And let me type uh, the quote, my favorite quote, what uh, we become, what we think about. And here, I'm going to choose the kind of a type uh, writer uh, style typeface. So um, uh, the one I chose is uh, American typewriter or if you do not have this font you can use the career. That's a kind of a similar to that. So let me type we become what we think about period quotation mark Oh, let me indent it. Okay. Center it. Okay, so it looks good. Next thing is, uh, before we go to the um, go forward, I want to make another layer for cursor. Okay, and the cursor, I'm gonna use. I can draw the line, or I can just use the um. um the cursor character in my keyboard and uh, let me do this okay so start from there okay then hide top and the bottom layer so we're going to make the frame by frame animation first that's the kind of a main part uh, we can do this using masking effect as well but I found that frame by frame animation it looks more realistic uh, so and that is kind of more effective. So first, um, I have a numbers of characters, and uh, I'm going to uh, maybe we, we can add or the uh, delete the layer uh, later anytime. So um, let me <coughs> excuse me. Highlight the uh, seven second mark on my second layer. Go to insert timeline and frame. Okay. So as I mentioned. Um, uh, we're going to use the frame by frame animation rather than masking. So select your entire segment, hold down the control key or right click and click on your segment in this second layer and choose the convert to frame by frame animation. Uh, not each frame, not every other. We're going to customize it. Six frames. So every six frames. I, I found that that's a kind of a good time duration for typing. So OK. See, so we have this. So now from here, it's a kind of a um, labor intensive job. So uh, what we're going to do is at the very beginning, we're not supposed to see anything. So we start from the scratch. So select your entire text and delete it. Now second frame, which is on frame number seven. We're going to start from just a quotation mark. Next, first the letter W, and the next, E. So it's a kind of a routine. So um, uh, one day, I'll be done with the entire text. So I will uh, play this fast forward. 
so we can save time. Okay, so I think I'm done. Okay, so let me play it. So we become what we think about. So it looks good. Okay, another thing is um, I want to start from the scratch, <clears throat> from nothing, like a blank page. And then uh, I want to start with the uh, kind of blinking cursor for a while. So let me select my text layer. I'm going to move it to about kind of uh, 20 frames, like a 21. Okay, so start with nothing. We're going to see the blinking cursor and start typing like this. Okay, then we also need to keep that uh, your typewriter background images and the cursor as well. So same numbers of frames BM, uh, so we can keep the same timeline. Uh, we'll just insert frame. Same thing on the cursor layer as well. Insert timeline and frame. Okay. So next thing is the cursor. Okay, this cursor is just a text for now. We need to make it blank. So go to mod, select your bar, your cursor, and go to modify. I'm going to convert as a symbol, this time as a graphic symbol. And let me rename it as a cursor. Okay. Now open the library. Let me see, uh, double click this cursor uh, graphic symbol so I can edit it. Okay, so uh, this graphic symbol has the, its own timeline as well. And let me apply, uh, extend it up to a six, frame number six, because this frame by frame animation, we allow to have the kind of a six frame, so we can keep the same timeline. So go to insert, uh, timeline and frame. So nothing's changing. On frame number three or four, let me insert timeline and blank keyframe. And then that blank since after that blank keyframe, the cursor is gone. So it will be like this, blinking, on and off, on and off. Okay. So let me go back to main scene. Okay. Let's test the movie. See how it works. See the cursor keeps blinking. Now we just need to have the cursor on. Uh, after of the every letter, every character. Okay, so let me go back. Nothing's changing. And then we're going to have this cursor after first character for now. So highlight the frame, insert the keyframe, and move it right after. Okay, same way. First letter, Place your playhead on the same keyframe, insert the keyframe, and move it. You may use the just the uh, arrow key on your keyboard. So I will keep repeating uh, until everything's done. So let me fast forward. Okay, so I think I'm done. So let's see how it works. Let me rewind everything. Play. So blinking we become what we think about. So it looks good. Uh, let me uh, test it. Preview it. We become what we think about. So it looks good, but um, uh, I think that I want to give some kind of little more time so people can read it. So because it uh, basically um, uh, it keeps repeating. So uh, let me have about I don't know, maybe two or three seconds. So on eleven second mark, and let me insert just a keyframe and test it. We become what we 
think about. One, two, three, and plays again. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so that's it, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well, and I will see you next time. Bye.